The main problem Nautilus is trying to solve is designing a tailor-made cargo aircraft that's able to move goods in a more sustainable and cost-effective way. Nautilus's first launch product is a Kona aircraft. To give you some dimensional perspective, there's an 85-foot, 19,000-pound airplane, and it's really ahead of the competition as far as size. Nautilus today is uh, very engineering heavy. We have about 15 engineers on staff. All of them use uh, NX uh, here at the company. I think the thing I like about NX the most is the amount of tools that it gives you. And if you really want to have your own style of figuring it out, if one way it works, the way your coworker likes to model things doesn't work for you, in a different CAD system, that might be the only way. In NX, there's so much more and then so much more control that you have over your modeling process. One of the key challenges that we have with our customers and investors is really showcasing the breadth and scope and size of the products that we're building. Although we start to see pieces come alive in our hangar, uh, putting it all together, especially on a large scale, is really challenging. Going through the immersion engineering demo, I was really blown away just by how quickly and seamlessly it worked. And so I was able to really get a good scale of what we're working on real time, which was really awesome to see. The first thing that struck me with the Siemens immersive experience was definitely the scale of our own aircraft. Everything looks about half the size on the 2D screen. So getting an idea for what the actual volume is for the parts that I'm designing was very eye-opening. Nautilus is still taking a lot of feedback from a lot of the airliners that we're currently talking to. And these guys are not necessarily technical experts. So translating CAD data to real life it's not the same as being able to put them in the pilot seat, getting them in VR and walk up to the actual aircraft. Moving forward, I could see this experience being really useful for the manufacturing and assembly side of things as well. For cable routing, being able to see real time on a bare panel where certain cables need to go, where you have breakouts for your harnesses, where certain terminations are as well. On the collaborative front, Different teams who work in different locations are going to be able to come together to solve problems that might be happening on the real aircraft. Using this AR experience, we can both kind of poke our heads around. So we can clarify a lot of things that we may not be able to do um, just looking at the 2D screen and doing just the screen share. I think it brings this really uh, interesting opportunity to showcase how we're going to be growing as a company. This type of technology is part of our story to help make those sales and keep those conversations with customers really energetic.